All right, hello everybody. This is Mr. Future Zoologist, and today I am here to make a video reviewing the Lovebird cage that I have bought for my Lovebirds. Um, it's kind of overdue because I've had this cage for a while, but I just feel like I need some more videos for the Lovebirds, so I'm gonna make this video right now. Plus, I'm gonna do a supplies review for them next, and. This video will be short because there's nothing special about this cage. Unlike the parakeet cage, which is actually quite special. With its multiple doors and stuff like that. And his cage is pretty special because it has like different like latches and stuff. Alright, so let's get started. First we have this little pull-out tray, which normally every bird cage has. And it holds all the food and poop and stuff. Sorry about that noise. Then just the base, which is a deep base. But it still doesn't keep food and stuff out. Um, you can't really see anything on this is the t TV stand. Because I have cleaned my whole room today. So like whenever I... I'm going to get a little bit off topic right now. But let's just hear it. I feel like talking about it. Whenever I clean my room, I will wash... I will wipe down the TV stand. Sweep my floors, uh, throw a lot of stuff in my trash can back here, I clean the parakeet cage, all nice and clean, and I clean the lovebird cage, so I do a lot of, I do a lot when I clean, so now back on topic, then we have three doors, one, two, three doors downstairs which one big one for like my hand and two for feeders right now this is food which I just gave them a seed and pellet diet because I was being lazy today and I didn't feel like mixing it up plus they ran out of their rice mixture because it went bad so I threw it out and I still have no ideas of what to make for them to eat so in the in the box or comment Comment below to tell me what I should make for them. Give me some ideas, um, stuff like that. And hopefully you do it. Don't just listen to this and not do it. Or like, keep it to yourself. Like, share it, please. All right. And right here we have treats, which I gave them strawberries. Like, just the head of the strawberry with the uh, leaves on top. I don't know if they've eaten those yet. And then, going upstairs, it's the same thing. One, two, three doors for the same purpose. Right up here, that's water, which today Nala took a bath in her water. And this water actually looks dirty, even though I just replaced it today. So I will have to replace it again. But also about the top area. They have, it has a large door, very large door to put stuff in, take stuff out and put stuff into the cage, which is quite good. The space in the bars is like one half, so it's good for like sugar gliders and, and other birds. They won't be able to poke their heads out and, or get stuck. Up top, they have this handle which helps carry the cage around. But since the cage is so tall, it's hard for me to carry it like that because I feel like it's going to break. And to get up top on the cage, I have to stand on my brother's bed. So it's pretty tall, especially because I have the TV stand. All right, and that's, like like I said, it's not too much, pretty much it. It assembles, for, like when you buy it, mine, when I bought it, it came apart on accident. So I had to put it back together, and all you have to do is take these like little metal things and like latch them over the metal bars. And there's little knobs like this to do the same. So one down here, and then just like all cages, it secures tightly into the base of cage. Um, it's a pretty standard cage. I got it for eighty dollars at Pet Supermarket. Um, I would give it a a five really. Kind of, it's really tall, but it doesn't give a lot of, of, like, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Like, it doesn't give a lot of, like, width, which is more needed than height for lovebirds, so. That's the only thing I can say that is not good about this cage. Um, so here's a, a far back look at the cage. There's the bottom. All the way to the top. I don't know the exact dimensions, but I'm sure you can find it on a website that sells bird cages. Um, so maybe we can take a, since this is such a short video, we can take a little time to look at what Nala and Simba are doing. There's, I meant Nala and Zazu. Zazu's right there behind the swing. He just jumped over. And that's Nala right on the bottom of the orbiter. So let's see if they'll do some stuff for us if we get inside their cage. Maybe I can show you how they get up around their cage. I'll perch him out. Alright, say hi to Zazu. He just jumps down. And he's up oh, there, he's going. This time he did it the boring way and just went up the side of the bars. Up oh, there, that was Nala. Another reuniting. Alright, that was pretty much it. And this video, this video actually turned out to be pretty long, so. Uh, thanks for watching. And remember, try and comment below what you think I should make for my lovebirds next. Say bye, Nala. Hands